This video is going to show how to align a part visually in machine simulation. Uh, I have a part here that I've got some toolpath on, and let's say I want to go ahead and run machine simulation on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. You can see machine sim render. You know, at first it looks okay, but when I look at this, you can see if I zoom in, it's actually down into the bed of the of the table. So what I want to do is I want to move that up. And let's just say for this demonstration, I want to move the part over, say, in this area. That's where the real machining is going to happen. Maybe I have a fourth axis over here or something. This is really easy to do in GIMP. So I'm going to open up my document control dialog by clicking up here. And this part offset is where I'm going to put the numbers in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to offset this up 2.4. There we go. And now I want to move it over in the X, I'll say, 6 inches. So we're going to go negative 6 because it's in the negative X direction. And we can see there that the table actually shifted over instead of the part moving, but uh, the alignment on the table is correct now. Now it's kind of over to the left-hand side a little bit. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you, let me zoom in on this a little bit. When I render this, the first move it does is that you're going to see that it looks like it plunges down into the part. That plunge isn't in the toolpath. Let me show you really quick. So the doors are going to open. That tool is going to come down, and the first thing it's going to do is jam down into the part. See that little red circle there? It goes down and then comes back up. That is set by this clearance right here. This is the master clearance. This is the clearance um, that the machine is going to return to for tool changes or going in between, say, drilling cycles. This is where it's going to go in between um, operations. So let's go ahead and just give that a, kind of a bigger number so it's nice and big and out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and just click change that to three. Let me rewind this. Great. Now let's go ahead and play it. And now you'll see that it goes ahead and starts nice and above the part and starts its tool path where it's supposed to. There we go. So that's it. Really easy. So if you need to manipulate where this part shows in your machine simulation, it's all in your document control dialog. There's no changing of planes or coordinate systems. If you have any questions about machine simulation or setting parts up visually, please feel free to give your local GibbsCam reseller a call or give GibbsCam technical support a call. Thank you so much for watching.